Today we're going to learn how to season a cast iron skillet. The first step is to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Now thoroughly clean the skillet with some dish soap and hot water. If your pan is very dirty, I recommend using a chainmail scrubber followed by a scrub brush. Be sure you also scrub the bottom and the sides of the skillet. Now rinse the skillet and thoroughly dry with a towel. Next, place the skillet on a stovetop burner and set the burner to medium heat. Heat the skillet up for about 5 minutes, just to make sure there is no moisture left in the cast iron. I recommend doing this every time you wash your skillet. The next step is to oil the skillet. You can use any cooking oil, but I recommend grapeseed or avocado oil because they both have a high smoke point. The smoke point for oil is simply the temperature where the oil starts to smoke. Now pour a good amount of oil in the skillet and thoroughly wipe down the entire skillet. Now take another clean dry cloth and wipe off as much excess oil as you can. You only want a thin layer of oil on the skillet. If you leave too much oil on the skillet, it will become sticky after seasoning. Once your oven is up to temperature, put the skillet in the oven and bake for one hour. After one hour, Remove the skillet and let it cool. Now you should repeat the oiling and baking process a minimum of two more times. Here is what the skillet looks like after three treatments. To clean the skillet after cooking, it is best just to use hot water and a scrub brush. You should never soak a cast iron skillet. If your skillet is really dirty, it is okay to use a small amount of dish soap it will not harm the skillet. Today's dish soaps are very mild and will only wear down the seasoning slightly faster than using just hot water. Once the skillet is clean and dried, place the skillet on a stovetop burner on medium heat. This will get rid of any remaining moisture in the cast iron. Then apply a very thin layer of oil to the skillet. Leave the burner on for about five minutes and then turn it off and let the pan cool on the burner. If you do this last step every time you clean your skillet, you will rarely need to do the more involved seasoning in the oven. I will leave links to the oils and the chainmail scrubber down below the video description.